Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel, RV Tips from Jan. Today's topic, campgrounds are getting even more restrictive on the reservations that they will take. I have three questions for you to consider. Number one, do you have an RV that's over 10 years old? Number two, do you have an RV that's a converted van or bus? Number three, do you have an RV that's over 35 feet long? If the answer to any of those three questions is yes, you may find that some of your favorite private campgrounds are now restricting the reservations that they will allow if you follow into one of those three categories. Let's get more specific. There are a number of private campgrounds that will not allow us to make a reservation if our RV is older than 10 years. And this is particularly problematic because in today's market, there are the new retro RVs that look like the recreational vehicles of 20, 30 years ago. So that when you first pull into that campground, the campground manager may look at your RV and say, oh, this is older than 10 years, I can't allow you in. We have that restriction. Be careful when you make that reservation for those campgrounds that have that particular restriction that you specify that your RV is 10 years old or newer. And if there's a question about the age and you're concerned about getting turned away, send pictures. Oftentimes the private campgrounds that have that particular restriction will allow older RVs if the RV has been well maintained. Sending pictures will allow them to make that decision. But what if I have a converted van or a converted bus? Is that going to be a problem? Technically, that's not older than 10 years in terms of being classified as an RV, but because it's a conversion, could I be turned away by that private campground? And the answer is yes. Here again, it's best to send pictures if there's that particular restriction by that campground. You don't wanna get there and find out that you don't have a campsite because they will not allow you to park your RV in their campground. Number three, parks are now getting more restrictive in terms of the length of RVs that they will permit on their campsites. This is for a couple reasons. One, maneuvering the longer RVs into the campground and to the campsite has become more problematic as newer, less experienced campers are on the road. Two, as these parks get older, the trees get closer to the campsite and can cause potential damage, particularly to the larger, longer RVs. Rather than be exposed to that complaint by an RV owner, the park manager will turn you away and not allow you to park your RV at one of their campsites. Lastly, some of the older parks simply will not accommodate larger recreational vehicles. As a result, they will have a limitation of 35 feet or less. Sometimes we like to fudge on that, and let's say that our RV is actually at 37 feet, and we figure, well, the extra two feet shouldn't be a problem. You simply may find that trying to maneuver your RV into that particular space really presents a problem, particularly if the other campsites around you are already occupied. In today's world, because the campsites are getting more reservations and filling up faster than ever before, they're becoming much more selective on what they will allow us to pull into their park and camp at their campsite. We need to be aware of this as we're making our reservations on each of these campgrounds respective websites. So be sure to carefully go through the entire website to make sure that you haven't missed that particular requirement. It's terrible to get to the campsite, have a reservation for either a holiday weekend 
or for a week's vacation only to learn that that campground has a restriction that applies to your particular RV and as a result you're not able to camp there. There's record numbers of us making our campground reservations three to six months in advance and that's really the smart thing to do. Thanks for watching. If this has been helpful please check that subscription box but as we say at the end of all of our videos please continue to be safe and stay well.